Do you know the easiest way to flirt with a Bond girl's fella? Simple. Go and test drive a Ferrari race car. All will be revealed. Keen fifth gear viewers will realize that so far Jason has driven the Ferrari F430. Nice hair. And Tiff has driven the F430 Spider. Nice slide. But I'm not jealous because they saved the hardcore version for me. This is the F430 Challenge. A proper racing car. There will only be a hundred of them. And I'm literally the first person outside the factory allowed to drive it. Get in. It'll be used in a one-make championship. Lots of rich Playboy racers competing in identical cars. They cough up £170,000 and in return get a 430 challenge, seven races and transport. The F430 is no slouch, so it doesn't take much to make it a racer. You get the same V8 engine, but with lightweight carbon fibre bits and pieces. There are super sticky slick tyres to provide enormous grip and a Formula One paddle shift that's standard fit. But gone is the road car's wet or sports settings. You just get one. Race. Now, just before my big moment, revered Ferrari managing director Jean Todd graces with his presence. His other half is leggy Bond girl, Michelle Yeoh. Lucky girl. Can you just tell me a little bit behind the philosophy of the 430 Challenge series? So GT car. The road car is impressive, but uh, then you manage to make uh, the car lighter and uh, lots of modifications, uh, improvement on the car for track uh, use, which make a car very, very spectacular, very impressive. You've driven the car, haven't you? Did you did you approve? Did you like it a lot? You know, sometimes it's too quick for me. So <laughs> now it's good, good emotion. Really, that's that's great. And just finally, what are your hopes for what are your hopes for the Formula One team this year? I think it would be an interesting championship and of course I hope that Ferrari will be able to come where we were a few years ago. And could I have a drive in it, please? I mean first show me what you're able to do with a challenge Stradale. I will. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> anyway, I will I will keep a close eye on you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> With the thought of the gaffer watching, I have to admit I got slightly nervous. My car? Yes. Oh, f we're on. <laughs> the car weighs less than a basic VW Golf, but has seven times the power. Got a little booster seat, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> the millionaires who get to buy this car will be very lucky because I'll have run it in. I'm a bit disappointed with the noise, if I'm honest with you. Fantastic though that is, I really thought it would be even noisier and growlier. They've moved the exhaust pipes from down at the bumper to up by the engine, so basically now it's like a straight through exhaust system. And they've done that because they didn't want people in the race hitting people up the backside and wrecking the exhaust pipes. The steering is really beautiful actually. It's so light, but it is just super precise. The suspension is much stiffer than the road car. I hope those brakes have warmed up. They have a bit of a squeak. I would absolutely love to race one of these things. Can you imagine what it would be like when all sort of 20, 30 of you are all battling for the same piece of tarmac? I tell you, the power is just awesome. Put my foot down. Oh. It's almost taking my breath away. Do you know, it's a shame that this isn't a road car, because boy, oh boy, would I look the dog's danglies rocking around some high street in this. Woohoo! As I go over that 
press there. It's just, I sort of just jump in the air a bit. It's just mega. I feel like I'm in a rocket ship. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm having the time of my life. I don't want it to stop. 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 This challenge model may be the most extreme 430 you can buy and owners will only get to drive it a handful of times throughout the year and never on the road, but they'll have some serious fun doing it. Lucky devils.